touchless sanitizer dispenser. This contactless hand sanitizer circuit facilitates the user to access the sanitizing liquid on hands automatically, without the need of operating or touching the sanitizer bottle pump manually. The feature ensures that viruses have no chance of spreading through physical touching of the sanitizer bottle and its operating parts. However, to be automatic, the system will require some kind of sensor to detect the presence of a human or a human hand under the dispenser unit. For this we employ the most basic sensor unit, which is the IR, or infrared device. These are the components, which are needed in this project. 1. NPN Transistor BC547 2 1 kilo ohm resistor 1 10 kilo ohm resistor 1 red LED 1 IR pair 1 water pump Rubber tube 9 volt battery PP3 battery connector On off Rocker switch 1 0 PCB 4 screw with nuts and 4 plastic spacers before making the project, we will understand its circuit diagram. This is a 9 volt battery to power up the circuit. This is an on off switch, which is used to start or stop the project. This is a power supply indication LED. This is a current limiting resistor to protect the LED from high current and voltage. This is the symbol of IR LED. It will emit the infrared rays. This resistor will protect the IR LED from any damage due to high current or voltage. This is the symbol of photodiode. When IR rays fall on the photodiode, then photodiode will turn on and give a high signal to the base terminal of transistor. When transistor will get a high signal on its base, then it will turn on. Positive terminal of water pump is connected to the positive supply voltage and negative terminal is connected to the transistor. When transistor will turn on, then water pump will get the ground signal on its negative terminal, and it will turn on. When IR rays will not fall on the photodiode, then transistor will turn off, and water pump will also turn off. These are the components, which we will use, to make our project. First of all, we will make a PCB base, and for that, we will take a zero PCB and make a hole at each of its corner. Now, we will insert a 1 inch screw inside the hole. Now we will take a plastic spacer and then we will use a nut to lock the spacer. Now our PCB base is ready. To switch on or off our project we will use an on off switch. We need to make a big hole to fit the switch on the PCB. To protect the LED from high voltage and current, we will use a 1 kilo ohm current limiting resistor. We will solder a power indication LED on the PCB. Now we will solder the IR LED. Remember that the flat side is negative and round side is positive. Green sleeves are used to avoid the sorting between its two terminals.
Now we will solder the 1 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the photodiode. When mounting the photodiode, then make sure that flat side of the diode is connected to the positive supply. Now we will solder the 10 kilo ohm resistor. Now we will solder the NPN transistor BC547. There are three pins in a transistor. Pin 1 is called collector, 2 is called base, and 3 is called emitter. Now we will solder the water pump. Now we will make a hole for battery connector. This battery connector is of PP3 type. In this connector, the red wire is for positive and black wire is for negative. Now we will connect a 9 volt battery and test our project. When we put our hands in front of the sensor, then IR rays will reflect from our hands and received by the photo sensor. After sensing the hand, the dispenser pump will turn on and supply the sanitizer. When we take our hands away from the sensor, then pump will turn off. Our circuit is working perfectly. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something from it. For any help or to clear your doubts regarding your project, you can contact us on our student care number 7007957715. To buy the items used in this project, you can visit our website www.eraltech.com. You can give us the orders on WhatsApp also. Thank you so much.